New Greek TV is here at the Affordable Art Fair in downtown Manhattan, showcasing over 78 galleries, including Greeks and Greek Americans. Let's go check it out. MK, just what is the Affordable Art Fair? Oh, the Affordable Art Fair is a fantastic platform for new clients, seasoned clients, art buyers to come and see fresh art at affordable prices. And what we're talking about affordable is 5,000 and down range. And then, uh, let's say an exhibitor's booth, um, they can have 25% of the work priced up to $10,000. So you can really pick up somebody up and coming here. And what was the process involved in organizing this fair? Um, in getting ready to come to this fair? Well, for, uh, for us here at Decor Zone Gallery, it's, um, we're, a, we're a bit globally nomadic at the moment. We had a gallery space for eight years in Dallas, Texas. Now we do primarily art fairs. So I just came from a big art fair that happened to be affordable art as well in Hong Kong and then traveled here. It has a lot to do with shipping artwork, we have an international group of artists getting their artwork together, shipping it, um, setting it up, which can take a day or a day and a half. So MK, how do you source your artists? We have um, a really talented stable of artists. We're very selective in our process, choosing our artists. Um, yeah, I, we, we get an incredible amount of submissions to the gallery and artists are always asking me, how do you select your artists? MK, I think um, what Ugo, my partner and I are looking for are um, really high quality work that, that we personally feel engaged with, uh, professional artists that um, are making a lifetime career of their art and, and are easy to work with because this is, it's a relationship, it's almost like a marriage. And are you an artist yourself? Yes, I did study photography and photojournalism, and I, I worked as a, a commercial photographer and an art photographer, and still do art photography when my time allows. And you're Greek American. Can you tell us a little bit about your background? Yes, I'm a Greek American. So my grandparents came from Naphaktos and from Tripoli. I grew up in Dallas, Texas, in a Greek restaurant in a political family and moved to, lived in New York City. I love my Greek heritage and try to make it to Greece as often as possible and strive to speak better Greek. And MK is an unusual name for a Greek. What's the meaning behind MK? Uh, well, Maria, um, MK, Maria Katarina is, is my name and, I, or Mary Catherine, I'd say in the United States. And people just love to make it Mary Kay or MK. Finally, we just got to MK and it stuck. Yorgo, can you tell us about your art background? Uh, I was born in Greece, Athens. I studied illustration uh, at the Wolverhampton University. Uh, England and then I moved to New York last year for four months doing at the HVA kind of res residency silkscreen printing as you can see on the back and what kind of art platforms do you use uh, acrylics media painting and then I moved to installation art and in the end uh, silkscreen printing and did you always want to be an artist since a little kid as far as I remember yeah <laughs> Since I was, you know, real young, I was I used to draw, I used to paint, and it came naturally. And where were you born in Greece? Athens. I uh, was raised in Patras, moved back to Athens. I'm situated in Athens, working there, trying to move around Europe, and you know, find the world. <laughs> and I've read that you've studied and worked all over the world, but Athens remains your favorite city. Can you touch upon that for us? It's not all over the world, actually. It's, you know, kind of some cities 
around Europe and New York and Athens, it's easy for me to work there. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm in the studio working, working, and when I want to get out of it, I promote my work outside Athens and you know around Europe. So it's I like the light. I like the light is great in Athens and the climate, the atmosphere. And what's the concept behind your designs? Well, that's sometimes it's hard to explain through words. Uh, I used to do I used to do the sprints last year in New York. So I was working at the same time for my last exhibition, my last solo show. It happened in Athens last December. It was called Night of the World, and it's about the negativity of human being and how, through forms and the exploration of the medium and the limits of the medium, is you know, I saw the negativity of human being. Black and white, uh, not a lot of light, and you know whatever someone can tell being in front of these paintings and prints. And how did you end up at Manhattan's Affordable Art Fair this year? It's uh, two years ago, I met uh, with MK and the Corazon Gallery. Uh, I like their work, they like my work, and uh, we started you know, collaborating together. So this year, it's, you know, I'm showing work here. I see, uh, I've shown my work in London through the Corazon Gallery, of course, and in Singapore. And in the future, we will see. Peter, you're the gallery owner at the Affordable Art Fair. What was the effort involved in creating this beautiful exhibition? Uh, the effort has been very large. We've had to come all the way from Queensland, and uh, we have brought four artists' works with us. And, uh, it takes a little bit to get from Queensland to New York. And is the Affordable Art Fair in this venue every year? Yes, it's a, quite a number of years. We were here last year and we've come back this year. And how long are you in New York for? Well, we'll be here for another week and then we're going to travel the US and uh, go Route 66 and uh, all the way back to Los Angeles. And are you a gallery owner back in Queensland? Yes, uh, we've got a gallery up on uh, Mount Tambourine, which is just above the, the Gold Coast on the southeast corner of Queensland. So you're a gallery owner in Manhattan, Queensland, anywhere else? No, that's as far as we've gone, but the artist here is actually painting here in New York. He's an Australian artist, painting in New York, uh, painting in London and also Paris. Lori, what brings you to the Affordable Art Fair today? I think it's a great opportunity to see artists that are starting out and things that are affordable to collect for your own home. And are you a connoisseur of art? Hardly. <laughs> Just know what I like. And where are you from? In New York City. And are you going to purchase anything today, do you think? I hope so. And do you always come to the Affordable Art Fair? Are this your first time? We've been several times before. And did you acquire any pieces in the other years? Yes, we did. We bought something last year. Mark, what brings you to the Affordable Art Fair this year? Well, what brings us to the Affordable Art Fair is the fact that there's so much original artwork here that's affordable and the variety is incredible and we always find something that we want to buy. And do you guys come here each year? Yes, we came last year. We came to this gallery, in fact, and uh, bought some lovely ceramic pieces that we really love. Where are you guys from? Where do you live? Uh, we live in New York City, but also Monterey, California. And did you fly in for the fair, or were you already in Manhattan at this time? Well, conveniently, we flew in on uh, Friday, so you could say we flew in for the fair. <laughs> and have you bought anything yet, this fair? Uh, no, not yet, but we're going to really take a look here at Decoration and see what they have. They had some great stuff last year. This wraps up our segment at New York's Affordable Art Fair. See you next time. <laughs>